friends, and welcome back to Forex Focus, brought to you by IG. Real fun segment for today, taking a look at the quite bearish price action that we've seen in euro dollar. Going to analyze where this is coming from and where it could be headed, as well as the client sentiment here from IG, see where the traders are positioned in all of this. But first off, let's start with the price action in the underlying market over the course of the last couple of weeks because it's been pretty consistent downside for euro versus USD from its highs at the end of 2023, now almost 300 pips lower, went from trading above 110 to now trading close to 108. And actually in recent trade got down and touched 108 for a brief moment there at the peak of another recent bout of geopolitical fears escalating in the Middle East. And one of the reasons that you can closely tie it to that developing story of war in the Middle East is you saw gold prices run up in tandem with this move. And remember that gold is usually inversely correlated with the US dollar. So pretty rare that we see a move like this in gold prices back above 2050 uh, here this week as the euro is moving lower and US dollar is moving higher. It kind of tips its hand to this is a little bit of a flight to quality owing to fear near the euro areas. People are selling their euros, buying US dollars. But yeah, you see here another run up in gold, which has definitely not been a stranger to $2,000 prices and above. But whenever it gets in this area of 2050, close to 2100, then we're really getting close to historic, historic highs. This is a market that has, yeah, closed above 2100 a handful of days over the last couple of years. But if you go back the last 20, 30 years, you're not getting a lot of data points of gold prices closing above $2,000 even, let alone close to that 2100 handle. So high gold prices right now in tandem with low euro prices and a climbing US dollar. Now, where could this euro be headed from here? Well, the most recent slide that we saw to this extent goes back to the middle part of last year where the market went from 112 all the way down to 105 at its lowest. So you get a little sense of the range in this market and what could happen. Now, of course, the market could just as easily rebound back to 110 or 111 or 112 as it could fall to 105. But in this recent trend, obviously a lot of bearish news, be it Middle East conflict or also some of the weaker Euro data that's been coming out relative to the US pushing this market lower. And we'll see if it gets back down to 105 once again. And, and a big piece of this as well will be the US part of it. Uh, we have a whole slew of US economic data to come, including the first Fed meeting of the year where they're not likely to do anything, uh, probably not going to cut or obviously hike. Hikes have been off the table for months now, but at this first meeting of the year, Powell could set the tone for where the US is headed throughout 2024 and, and still a fair chance of a cut coming in March. And the game moving forward outside of obviously the geopolitical uh, risks that are there in the Middle East is this US versus Euro economic data piece, whereby uh, theoretically, again, anything can happen, but theoretically you would expect that if the US cuts rates faster and further than the European Central Bank, the ECB, uh, their equivalent of the Fed, then the US dollar would theoretically weaken compared to that euro. Uh, but what we've seen actually in the first month of the year is some relative strength in US data versus euro. Uh, definitely no coincidence that US rates have bounced back in January of 2024 in the same time that the US dollar has put in almost 300 pips of strength against the euro. So we'll continue to watch that not likely to cut at this coming meeting, but if the Fed does come out more dovish and talks about how they're going to cut more than recently expected and more potentially than the ECB, you might see that dollar depreciate 
against the euro. Whereas on the flip side, if they come out hawkish and say, we're not looking at too many cuts this year, if at all, that dollar might get back into some more strengthening and you might see that euro dip down closer to 105. Let's take a look here at the client sentiment and see where traders are currently positioned because we've recently seen a good amount of short bias in this euro dollar market, but recently flipped too long, actually. It's not a lot. It's still very close to 50-50, but majority of IG clients with positions in this major pair are long here as the market is moving lower. We'll see if it does move lower, if that long exposure grows, more people trying to buy it on this dip or what happens in the market. But there you have the client sentiment now long in that euro dollar market. We'll see where it goes from here. Obviously, a lot of pieces at play between the different central banks where they're going to be headed. And of course, the developing news stories of everything that's at play geopolitically as well. Thanks for watching.